I don't know. I have time for this right now. Hey guys, it's Haley Sunny, and today I'm gonna be filming a winter try on haul. I'm so excited. I don't know why I say I'm so excited before every video. Basically, I really like doing YouTube, so that's why I keep making videos and I get excited every time I film. If I've been doing this for this many years, I feel like that's pretty clear, so I should probably just stop repeating the fact that I'm excited. You guys know that by now. But, haul videos are my favorite videos to film, so I guess that's like a little PS. Sorry, I kind of sound like a man. I'm going through a cold right now. I don't feel like I'm sick at all. Like, I feel fine. I just sound like this, but I honestly kind of like it. Like, it's kind of raspy, like, kind of sexy, you know? Like, this is my alter ego coming out. Her name is... Scarlet and she has a raspy voice and she's about to show you some sick ass clothes. So without her And she also can't speak English. Oh, I don't know how this all happens. Anyways without further ado Let's go ahead and get started with this video Usually I feel like youtubers that live in LA film winter hauls where they show you a bunch of tank tops But recently I relocated to Santa Barbara where there's actually like wind and like temperature that are within the 50s so it kind of gets cold I'm actually gonna be showing you guys winter clothes get excited fun times so the first store that I'm gonna be starting off with is LF and LF is usually like the most obnoxiously expensive store in the world and a few times a year they have these sales where everything is one-fourth of the price so I don't know what kind of marketing technique they're into but like I dig it I like it it's fine it's whatever so I stopped by and picked up some pieces so let's get started the first thing Thing that might be the only thing that's colorful in this whole haul is this red puffer jacket and it's cropped and originally this was probably a bajillion dollars but I got it for 60 it's a puffer jacket but at the same time it kind of feels like a bomber vibe going on uh, just because it's not very thin thick like you wouldn't be sweating in this like as if you're going skiing uh, so that's nice and I like that it's cropped I think it makes it very trendy I've been wearing this quite a lot I really enjoy it and I think puffer jackets are like making a really big comeback this season so get your hands on some I know H&M has some really cute ones for affordable prices next things next I got this what color is this gray um the thing that got me was actually like the quality and the material it is very like thick and it just feels really good quality and it gives me a lot of like the Yeezy season 3 vibes and then it has a lot of pockets all on the arms which I thought was pretty cool I like cool pieces like this it's super oversized and then the hood is oversized so you just look like a cool girl when you put it on you know you just don't give a fuck about the world and I really enjoyed Purchasing this hoodie. <laughs> yeah, well, fun time. Let's keep on going guys. I don't know why but I was so excited to buy this like I'm a grandma. I bought a cable knit white cardigan. So this is what it looks like. I also feel like cardigans are a big like trendy piece this season. I don't know, but they just make every outfit super cozy. This one's oversized, so when you're wearing like really skinny clothes and then you drape a cardigan over it, I think that's a really cute look. And then it has these buttons. I really like it. It's not like it doesn't button up all the way. That would be ugly. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let me button this because you will not understand what this is if I don't. So next up I got the skirt and it screams back. Badass. Kind of has like a Dolls Kill vibe and then it's cropped, uh, cropped, it's a skirt. What? <laughs> it's a mini skirt. It's like really like up to your butt so make sure you wear some spandex. It's, it's really nice on my waist. That's the thing I like about LF. Like they have a lot of like smaller sizes. Usually when I buy skirts, pants, whatever, they just don't fit me in the waist. Like the butt will fit and then the legs will fit and then in the waist it will just be like I don't know what's big on the waist. I don't know, but that'll that's what it'll be like. Yeah, I'll insert a picture of me wearing it on my Instagram right here for those of you that were wondering, which I don't know. I don't know if you were wondering that. Okay, the next item is one of my, the favorite... <coughs> crazy girl. The next piece of clothing is from Topshop, and this is one of my favorite things in my closet. Can I make an appearance in your video? No. Oh, it's a party? I didn't know. <laughs> 
I believe Jax is gonna situate himself right there for the rest of the video. So please don't pay any attention to him. Pay attention to me. These are like pleather looking ass jeans from Topshop. They're high waisted. They wrap around your booty. They're sexy. They're nice. They're just amazing. Jax, can you not lick your penis in this video? Like, come on. I'm not trying to get demonetized. <laughs> I will link these down below if you want them. I actually used to own these pants and then I lost them. And funny backstory to these. So one day I came home from a party and I was wearing these. It was very late and I was just, you know, lit. And I had dirt all over my pants. And I remember my mom asking me, being like, what happened to you? Why is there so much dirt on your pants? And apparently I told her someone kicked me, which obviously that did not happen. But then I haven't been able to find my pants since then. So that was the mystery of the lost pants. I have them. I bought a new pair. Hopefully no one kicks me in these. Next up, I have two items from two random ass online stores. So the first pair are these cargo pants from this brand called Scattered. I'll link them down below so you don't have to like rummage through the internet trying to find these like low-key online stores. I don't know. I think they look badass. Um, obviously they're a little like oversized, but then they're like tight around the waist, which is a look I always like. And then you can also make them tight. Um, and the bottoms and then they have big pockets for putting your snacks in so you can sneak a lot of snacks into the movie theater with these pants they have like an industrial vibe to them which is something that I've been incorporating into my outfits recently next I got a care package from Dickies and I think they're making like a comeback I believe they used to be really big now they're like starting to get big again kind of like champion like champion died out for the past few years but now champions like the shit so I wish the best for Dickies and I believe they do have a lot of potential because they sent me some really cute clothes so the first thing they sent me was this track suit uh, this is what the pants look like they're velvet and flared and then the waistband is just just as Dickies cute and then the top is actually really cute um, it's like a cropped hoodie and it's velvet again and then has the waistband that like wraps around your waist and together this is such a fit I really enjoy this perfect for the winter when you're just trying to be lazy and then they also sent me a hoodie which I also think is very like streetwear it just looks like this it's black and then it's what was that I'm sorry it says Dickies on the sleeve and then the back's really cool it just looks like that very nice very beautiful very trippy like super trippy bruh dig it <laughs> my next stop was Adidas and they just always have the dopest clothes like I got this green hoodie and then it says Adidas on the sleeve, but it's like, I don't even know how to describe that. I don't know. It's like popping out, you know, it's like 3D. It's like, it's like those puffy stickers that you used to get when you were a kid. If you were extra good in class, they gave you the puffy stickers. Kind of like that. <laughs> I personally just fell for the material. It's super, super soft and it just feels overall really good quality. I wear so many hoodies. Like that's all I wear in college because I'm a lazy piece of and you kind of look cute and comfy at the same time a big move I got the most basic sweatpants and I don't know why I waited so long to have these in my life they're just like the regular track pants with the three stripes and I wear these almost every other day they're super comfy you should probably invest in a pair of these they go with literally everything and you can just wear them with some like hype sneakers and a cool hoodie and you just look cool and then I also purchased a very similar looking pair of sweatpants well actually they're kind of different um these ones are really oversized on me yeah they're definitely from the men's section they're so comfy like I'm so comfortable when I wear these so I recommend and then the last item I feel like you guys ask me every day where I get this I've featured this in a previous video and I think an Instagram uh, this is from the brand fear of exclusion and it looks like this it's just a white hoodie I like white hoodies and then on the back it says call my lawyer 1-800 kiss my ass you're kind of like emo if you don't have the balls to wear this you're probably not a bad bitch I'm sorry I'll link it down below you guys have been bombarding me with questions on where I got this
was that it? Um, I believe that was it for this video. I didn't get like a ton of stuff, but I got enough to get me through the winter time. So I'm not mad about it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed it and you want to tune in to my other videos. I film, I don't know, I film like a variety of things, but I'm just like doing me and all of them. So if you guys enjoyed that, make sure you subscribe. Press the little bell. Follow me on Instagram. Add me on Snapchat. I'm kind of funny on there. That's it. I love you guys so much. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.